welcome back to the PowerPoint presentation lessons again. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about drop down menus in PowerPoint. Well, you've seen drop down menus in Excel or maybe Word most of the time in Excel, but now we're going to learn about like opening or making drop down menus in PowerPoint too. So first off, what we're going to do is add in some slides. We're not going to make the video or make the lesson a lot complex and big, but make it in a way so that you can find it simple and easy to apply in your daily life. So first off, just open up PowerPoint and then add a slide. So first off, what I'm going to do is delete them because I don't actually need them and I don't actually love them. So I'm going to do is make some blank slides, okay, or just copy or just duplicate them, control D, okay. I guess four is enough because I don't want that much. So I'm going to do here is add or maybe like add two, three, four, all of the bit like, okay, let's add five. Okay, let's say five. Now I'm going to do here is insert picture in each of these slides. So I'm going to do here is um, also you can do is make an album. That's also doable. So I'm going to do here is okay, my bad. If I do that, I don't have any photos in my device. So I'm going to do just insert them manually. Uh, let's say stock images. Now we're going to do is let's say let's go first with Okay, let's say mountain. Second one should be stock images again. Okay, this is going to be good. Snow. Insert stock images again. Next, I want a landscape maybe. Let's see if we can find some nature photos. Or maybe some city photos. If we can't find it, so just search for city, hit enter, and it will open up or show the results. My bad. Select whichever one you want. Now I want the city one, so I'm just gonna click on it, press on insert, and it will be applied. Okay, insert again, pictures. Go here. I'm gonna do is add this one too. This one looks nice. And the last one I'm gonna do here is add in maybe. Okay, let's add animals. Well, you can make a lot of like these slides, but I don't want it to be that long the video. So I'm gonna do here is just use these five slides. So what I'm gonna do here for the last time is add another slide which is going to be completely blank or maybe something like decent. So I'm going to do stock images. Let's say I want, um, let's find something big. Okay, this one's nice. Now I'm going to do here is add in the drop down menus right over here and then obviously do the work. Okay, so I'm going to have here is, this is okay now. this is done okay as this is done so I'm gonna do here is obviously add in the drop-down menus so how are you gonna do the drop-down obviously when you're adding drop-down it's like a funnel type of thing which you usually do in Excel so I'm gonna do the same thing over here but what we're gonna do is make uh, hyperlink use hyperlinks instead of using funnels okay so what I'm gonna do here is add in those text first so what I'm gonna do first is let's say first off let's make a text box let's say this one is this type is fine so I'm gonna do here is add in places okay let's say places is fine now what I'm gonna do here is let's change the font of this Algerian okay this is nice Okay, this is not nice. So I'm gonna do is change it to FBTMI. Now I'm gonna do here is change the color of it. Changing the color to let's say white. Yeah, white seems nice. I'm gonna do the same thing again. 
control this one to be right here but this time we're gonna do is add in animals control again let's say food now for the last one we're gonna add even though I'm not gonna make a lot of them let's say um, drinks but we're gonna end with animals but yeah that is also doable so next what I'm gonna do is duplicate the slide okay let's say add for places now I'm gonna do here is as this is duplicated so I'm gonna do here is go hit enter let's change this a bit uh, not 14 at least so let's stay on 20 and change the font into um, Arial black is fine mountain let's say snowy forest or maybe that's just a hill but I don't know so I'm gonna do is bridge the last one should be let's say that's uh let's just say it's a drone shot because I don't know what that is but yeah okay and in animals we're gonna add the same type of things change it to 20 and then change it to aerial black let's say panda now as it is done the next thing what we're gonna do is add in hyperlinks okay first off for this one we're not gonna need it but we're gonna duplicate the slide again for one of them we're not gonna have any of those now for this one we're gonna not like we're not gonna have any of them remove them well this should be only panda and now what we're gonna do is add in hyperlinks so adding in hyperlinks is the main thing what we're gonna do okay so first off for places when I select this I'm gonna add in a hyperlink click on it uh, create oh my bad place in this document so I'm gonna do a slide 2 okay so when you click on this press a 5 let's see when I press on this so it is done and now what I want to do is obviously add control X okay let's make another text box right over here but now I don't want those control V add 20 black, that is fine so what I'm gonna do here is add an animation you can do is fly in I'm gonna do it from the top now what I want to do is add an animation which is gonna be okay fly in but go to animation panel I'm gonna do start with previous uh, effect option I want to bounce and smooth start the timing should be like okay let's say it's done now it is done for this one so when I click on this it will follow to slide 2 next what I'm gonna do is click on this and then I'm gonna like cut it control X control drop it right here cut him panda I'm gonna do is insert a home my bad 20 well this is done and I'm gonna do the same thing over here go to add animation fly in have start with previous effects option I need to bounce a bit okay okay so this is it 
Now what we're gonna do is make the mountains, okay? This one to be a hyperlink. Mountains is four. Click on four, press on okay. And now forest should be it too. Hyperlink forest snowy forest is five click on a five bridge bridge should be hyperlink which is six press ok drone shot is seven hyperlink click on seven now all of them are done here the next what i'm going to do is add in panda so panda is maybe eight so i'm going to click on eight click on ok now as all of them are done and another thing what we're gonna do is add in places okay places should be applied on all of them hyperlink which is gonna go to first one click on it this will also when you click on animals this should also appear on the first one first slide okay so now as it is done what we're gonna do is add in morphs okay so that it is a lot smoother morph morph like apply morph to all of them you can also add different ones but I prefer morphs okay so let's start off with the first one f5 now we're gonna use these drop down menus okay my bad I had one thing which was gonna like start with previous okay now let's go to five now this has appeared now click on mountain it will take you to mountain we'll go back okay you click on animals it will just go to animals again when you click on this animals again my bad I think animals was not applied well okay my bad uh, add hyperlink to the third one okay Add in hyperlink to the second slide, okay. Now, is this done? Places will take you to places. Let's say we need a drone shot this time, and you can add in the drone shot this time again, but that is also doable. But you make sure to like use this, this one. Let's say we need to apply this places on all of these. Not here. We're going to apply these places. Copy. Paste. 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 So that you can get back to the first place where you want we're gonna add this one say copy this and paste it right over here okay now what I'm gonna do is F5 now we can click on them select places and it will always obviously open up places snowy forest it's also doable click on places again it will appear right over here drone shot yeah go to places again it will take you to places mountain that is also doable P click on places again let's say you know we want to go to bridge it shows us the bridge go to places again it goes back when you click on places again it will like gets you back to the default page now we're gonna click on animals animals click on panda it will take you to panda now click on animals again it will take you directly to the page because that doesn't have anything left 
but it, it prefers when you like take it to the place or take it to the link where it appears right over here so select this one and apply it on this one so that it appears right over here because you might like want to select other categories too if you have them so just follow these steps so you can use the drop down menus or the filtering method similar to Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint too. That is it for the video. Hope you understood everything. Now let's move on with this lesson.